Hey everyone, I'm just doing a quick video today on some products that I received in the mail. I made an order last week with a company called Precise Bits, and it has to do with this collet nut. Yeah, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the 611, but it just has basically one position, or it's either on this side or this side where you can uh, fit the wrench to it. And a friend of mine was over and he said, hey, you know, there's a much easier way to do this. He said, I've ordered collet nuts from a company called Precise Bits. So that's precisely what I did. Let's go in close and see what I got. Okay, so if you're not familiar, this is what we're working with. It's got one, two little places. And the only way for the wrench to work is in this position. And when you're in a tight space like this, it's really not that convenient. So it's kind of a, it's one of the problems with that style of router. So let's take a look at what I got. So I've got a bunch of things uh, that I ordered from them. And then after I ordered, they actually contacted me and said, hey, we'd like to send you a couple other things. And, you know, I'm not gonna say no to that. All right, so I ordered, I ordered this kit. So you can see it's called a crown nut. So let's see what's in here. I got some collet care, son of collet care. I don't know what, I, I bought whatever their kit was. And comes with some really, really good directions. Spindle tool holder cleaning and conditioning to give you some some information on basically taking care of your router that I probably Would never have done otherwise Just because I'm not familiar. Okay, so some more cleaning materials and I'm not even sure what this is But we'll keep going here All right, so I got some precision spring collets. I've got That's the collet nut, and I got an extra collet nut. So everything came, you know, it's kind of nice. Like they packaged everything in this little box. Check this out. It's like a little blister pack to hold everything in. But let's, let's look at the uh, crown nut. I actually, I think I ordered two of these because I'm always afraid of misplacing them. And I ordered, I think, two wrenches. There might be two wrenches in here. Let's check out this collar nut. So here's the wrench, and essentially every eighth of a turn, you can reposition, which I think is outstanding. And it's got three. It's got this that pushes against it, but it's got one, two, three places that actually lock in. So... It's pretty sweet. I'm pretty excited about this. Simple tool, simple improvement. So here's the precision collets that come with the kit that I got. I believe this one is a quarter inch. All right, so this, this is the uh, quarter inch collet and it goes in like this and then it snaps in. I don't know if you could hear that. So I can remove it again. Start from this position. And then you hear it snap in. Let's try it one more time, you ready? Now it's snapped in and it'll hold in place. All right, let's compare the two collets. This one is the original. It just has a two, two positions where you can Where you can tighten it and loosen it. So I've got to have it usually in that position that I can lock it down and either turn it and if it's needing to be tightened a lot then as you can see it takes quite a bit and then to loosen it. 
So if I had this on, on this side, I would only be able to go just a little ways and I'd have to turn it. And eventually you could get hand in here and loosen it. Keeping in mind that there's a bit in there and you gotta be careful not to cut your hand. So let's try this one. And again, all these different registration points, which I find really, really nice. This thing's really. All right, so the key, if you can see that, it's, it's uh, directional. So tightening it's gonna be this way. Loosening it will be this way. So tighten it. And that's it, it's tight. And then to loosen it, flip it around, catch it, and there you go. And if I needed to keep undoing it more for some reason, I could do that. That's it. I don't know about you, but to me, that's a big improvement. Uh, not having to, not having to make sure that I've registered where these two flat spots are and having basically eight positions to catch with the wrench. It's a huge advantage. I also got some other stuff from them. Let's uh, check these out. So, all right, let's see what else we got. So we also have some new bits. Now the thing that intrigued me about these bits, look at these collars. Not only do they tell you exactly which each one is, but they are precision mounted so that when you pull it out of your collet nut or your collet, you can put the new bit in at the exact same level as the previous bit was. And then you don't have to do another probe you don't have to readjust your z height so if you look here these are two totally different types of bits and it should be all precision set so that i don't have to adjust my z height between tool changes which i think is really nice one of the things that i dislike about having to use my cnc is constantly having to adjust things. Okay, and then, so I've got six new bits. I've got two wrenches because who doesn't misplace a wrench? And I'll put one in a safe place and one in a place that should be safe. But uh, yeah, not being able to, not having to change the Z height constantly uh, on a tool change, that's gonna be nice, real nice. Anyway, hope this, Help somebody who's uh, getting new into CNC. I'm sure people who've been doing CNC for a while probably already know about all these things, but it was new to me and I thought I'd share it. Just a quick review. I got seven different bits uh, as opposed to the six that I said earlier. I got two crown nuts. I got two of the wrenches because I'm inevitably gonna misplace one. It came with a cleaning kit and a eighth inch uh, calibration pin and some you know not everybody has q-tips but uh, anyway uh, and then again some collet care spindle tool holder cleaning and conditioning and probably something a lot of people neglect thanks for watching everyone